been able to identify that the limited resources of water for Niger, Chad, Cameroon, it has brought insecurity, it has brought banditry, it has brought increased um, terrorism with the use of technology. They will be able to ensure that that area, the Lake Chad, is safe for not just one person, that is Nigeria, but it's safe for the environment, the whole space. Since I've identified that the climate actually has a factor or imputes into all these insecurity issues arising. And if the vocal point for me is the climate change and environmental issues, then I feel my work, which is looking at the implication of digital technology, could actually help in the sense that I'm going to bring out the input of the Lake Chad Basin region on insecurity. And using my own findings, I believe they could work more in that aspect of ensuring that security is maintained there. And when we are looking at a long-term process, we don't look at just what is happening now, but we look at what benefits for future reference. So if my work is able to establish that climate, climate change, which is a linking region of the Lake Chad, has an input in the heightened insecurity within this border, then I feel the, the mystery of geopolitics will actually help me to put my points well create a good template and workable solutions. So I am not just looking at um, creating a solution, I'm looking out to meeting with other researchers who have been grounded in the field of climate change, who are more renowned and who have better experience. research is focused on Peru because uh, I, I come from Peru and my PhD uh, research is concentrated on the northern coast, a wide territory characterized by the presence of global trends of privatization, land grabbing and water scarcity. On the other hand, uh, medium-sized farm, farmers and, um, and another kind of, of population experiencing detrimental effects caused by these changes in the contemporary trends of transformation in food security and food sovereignty. Uh, in order to create better public policies and social programs, my research could contribute to think better how um, rural areas and vulnerable communities are affronting changes, global changes related to water scarcity and uh, supply chain in food, especially considering how supply chain of foods are changing the trends of consumption and research shows in, in a better light how different international actors and interests are creating severe, severe risks in different local communities and populations. I like to generate an impact in my own country and in academia in the Global South. My goal here will be not just to learn but to contribute as a researcher to the vision of the research school.